We have an instant hot water heater. It's gas powered. And although it works great, it does take a very long time to get hot water from any sink in the house. We're going to install the Smart Instant Hot Water Recirculating System. We bought this on Amazon. Now if our faucet, as if a lot of newer faucets, these lines are connected to the faucet. They do not disconnect. So when the instructions say to connect your faucet, we're going to connect this connector right here. And you see how tiny it is? There is an adapter included in the kit. There's our contents laid out in the method that we're going to install it. These connectors here go to the water valves coming out of the wall, hot water, cold water. This connects to the bottom of the brass fitting, and then this T is going to connect to the system itself. And then coming out of the top of the T, you're going to connect this to your faucet, the line going to your faucet. And like I said earlier, the lines coming from our faucet are built in, so we're going to have to hook it directly to here. We did turn this around because our lines take a smaller 3 8 inch. So you have the brass fitting, a washer, which will go in here, and then we'll connect our faucet line directly. So what happens is it keeps pulling hot water and pushing it back through the cold water until this senses that the water's at the correct temperature. It comes with a remote control, a total of six washers, four here, and the two that we're going to use to connect to our faucets. Comes with two legs. These two connectors, one goes on the gadget, the other goes on the wall. Two little screws, a power adapter, and a manual. There's the basics of how it connects. The side with the electrical connection is the hot water side. And under the dust cover, where you're going to connect the T on the hot water side, there is a little screen with a washer. You can choose to use this if your water is sort of gunky. We're going to connect the bracket. Notice this tab points down toward the electrical connector. And of course, we use the short screws. The long screws are to connect it to the wall. So when you connect the bracket to the wall, the tooth goes up. So we turn the water off to both of our faucets, hot and cold. On ours, we pulled our little knobs and then we turned on the faucet to drain the rest of the water. So we drill our holes for the lags. We use a 3 16th drill bit, which is a little small, so we enlarge the hole a little bit using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now we're going to tighten our bracket against the wall. Put the clear washer in, make sure it goes all the way down and that it's flat. You put these on hand tight and then you do a quarter turn with a wrench. So we have it all connected. We did have to use some Teflon tape on the brass fittings. It's been connected overnight and we put paper towel there just to make sure there's no drips or leaks so it looks good. So these are our water sources from the wall. Hot water is connected to this end of the machine, cold water to this end of the machine. So the machine will just keep putting water from the hot water line back into the cold water line until it senses the correct temperature. The two lines on the other side, on the right side, go up to our faucet. The temperature, by default, when the water is 33 Celsius or 91.4 degrees Fahrenheit, it will come on. And when the water reaches 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, it will turn back off. There's three modes. Orange, it means it's on all the time. If it gets too cold, it's going to come back on. When it hits the right temperature, it's going to turn back off. Hold and press, sort of a long press, just a few seconds. This is a smarter mode. When it hasn't been used for some time and the word sum is not clearly defined, it will lower the temperature set point. So it won't come on again until the temperature gets lower than its normal set point. Press it once again, and now it's on manual mode. 
in manual mode, it turns off after 60 minutes or once the temperature set point is reached. When it's in manual mode, it will also come on to prevent your pipes from freezing. Now we have the default set points, but using the remote control, you can adjust that down to 32 degrees Celsius, which is 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and up to 42 degrees Celsius, which is 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So the remote control does give you a little bit of flexibility. And some people just leave this off. And then several minutes before they want to use the water or take a shower, they would just use the remote control to turn it on. Let me show you how to pair the remote control. To pair it, unplug the device from the outlet. And I would wait about 10 seconds. Now, plug it in. And within a few seconds, you see it's flashing? There. Basically, I turned it on. And now I can bump the temperature up. Or I can bump it down. So you can experiment with that. Keep in mind that after you install it, it may seem like it's not working because once the water has reached the lower set point and it's came on and heated the water, you can turn this on and play with all the controls, but it's not going to come back on again until it needs to. In our house, the water comes in from the outside and connects to all the rooms somewhere up in the attic. So we installed this in a guest bathroom that's the farthest away from the outside heater unit. So the water from the outside to this faucet is going to be kept warm. So if I go to the kitchen, I still have to wait from approximately 20 to 30 seconds to get the warm water that's already up in the attic to the kitchen faucet. Note that you hold the remote with the labels at the bottom. Otherwise, when you turn the temperature up, you'll actually be turning the temperature down. So the orientation is very important. And no project is complete without cable management. Our cord goes along here. And then we pop this panel off and put a notch where it's not visible so our cord is not being compressed. And we went ahead and set up a timer. So we have it on from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then again from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.